Hello everyone. Welcome you all. Today we are going to learn some exceptional words ending in E. Today our topic is 53 plus English words in which the final E is not silent. We know that words ending in E, the final E usually silent. Again we know magic E rule. So we do not pronounce final E. Actually most of these words came into English from other languages and they do not follow the silent E or magic E rule. So watch this video till the end. I am sure you can't get all these words together from any other source. Now let's begin. First word is apostrophe. We often hear this word. A punctuation mark used to form positive nouns to represent omitted letters and to form some plurals. Examples are Jack's car, girl's school. Again, it's a punctuation mark used in contractions to replace missing letters or numbers. Some examples are don't, she is, etc. Again, 1st January 24. Second word is abaulony. Again, its finally is pronounced as e, abaulony, a mollusk found in seas that can be eaten. It has an ear shaped shell with a pearly interior. Number three, aborigine. One of the original or earliest known inhabitants of a country or region before any colonist arrived. That means first one to live in. Number four, acne. Acne is an inflammatory disorder of the skin that occurs when your hair follicles become plugged with oil and dead skin cells. It's a skin problem that mainly occurs in teenagers. Number five, adobe. A sun dried mud or clay brick used for building material. Number six, Amoli. The root, bulb, or another plant part is used as a substitute for soap. Or we may say plant that has detergent properties. Number seven, anemone. A small plant with white, red, blue, or purple flowers that are like cups in shape and deeply divided leaves. Number eight, Apache. A member of a group of indigenous people in southwestern America. Number nine. Apocopy, loss or omission of the last letter, syllable, or part of a word. Now, here is an example. In spoken English, cup of tea becomes cup of tea. Here, of word is omitted. Number 10, apotomy. It's a mathematical term. The remainder or difference of two incommensurable quantities. Here, incommensurable means not able to be judged by the same standard. Word number 11. Attache. This word is borrowed from French. Actually, words ending with this kind of E are pronounced as A or A. Most of these words came from French. Now, attache. It means a person on the staff of an ambassador has a specialized area of responsibility. Number 12. Cafe. Again from French. A small restaurant or place where we can buy soft drinks, coffee, snacks, etc. Number 13. Catastrophe. An unexpected sudden event that causes great suffering or damage. Number 14. Chili. The small red or green seed case from particular types of paper plant that is used to make spicy food. Word number 15. Cliché. Again from French to English. A phrase, remark or opinion that has very often been said or expressed that is no longer original or interesting. Word number 16, coyote or coyote is a small animal that looks like a wolf. Number 17, epitome, a perfect example of a quality or type of thing. Number 18, extempore, it means done or said without any preparation or thought. Here is word number 19, Eurydice. In Greek mythology, the wife of the poet Orpheus whom the attempts to bring back from hate. Facsimile. A facsimile is an exact copy or reproduction of something. Word number 21. Fiancé or fiancé. It means a man who is engaged to marry. If we put an extra E at the end of this word, then that word is also pronounced as fiancé or fiancé. But that word means a woman who is engaged to marry. Word number 22. Finale or finale. 
इट्स मीन्स द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ ए पीस ऑफ म्यूजिक एन एंटरटेनमेंट और सीरीज ऑफ शोज स्पेशली हुए दिस इज एक्साइटिंग और इम्प्रेसिव वो ऑफन हियर दिस वर्ड एज ए ग्रैंड फिनाली वर्ड नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री फॉर्ट ए इट मीन्स समथिंग इन हुई ए पर्सन एक्सेल्स और एन एरिया इन हुई ही और शी इज स्ट्रॉन्ग वर्ड नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर डिफिल्टर डिफिल्टर फिश ए डिश मेड ऑफ फिश काट इन टू वेरी स्मॉल पीसेस ब्लैंडेड विद एग्स एंड अदर एडिबल थिंग्स वर्ड नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव इट्स प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज कॉका मोले और कॉका मोली इट इज ए मैक्सिकन डिश मेड ऑफ क्रास्ट एवोकाडोस एंड अदर इनग्रीडियंट्स सच एज टोमाटोस ऑनियंस एंड स्पाइसेस यूजली इट इन कोल्ड वर्ड नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स हाइपर बोली इट मीन्स ए वे ऑफ स्पीकिंग और राइटिंग दैट मेक सम वन और समथिंग साउंड बिगर बेटर मोर एक्सेट्रा देन दे आर और वी मे से इंटेंशनली ओवर स्टेटमेंट नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन कैमिकाजी द जैपनीज वर्ड कैमिकाजी मीन्स डिवाइन विंड हु इन वर्ल्ड वॉर टू मेड डिलिबरेट सुइसाइडल क्रैसेस इन टू एनिमी टारगेट्स यूजली एयरप्लेन्स एनदार जैपानीज वर्ड कैरियोकी ए फॉर्म ऑफ एंटरटेनमेंट ओरिजिनली फ्रॉम जैपान इन हुई मेशीन प्लेस द ट्यून्स ऑफ सॉन्ग्स एंड पीपल टेक इट इन टर्न टू सिंग द वर्ड्स नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन कराटी ए जापानीज आर्ट ऑफ सेल्फ डिफेंस और वे ऑफ फाइटिंग इन हुई पीपल एम्प्लॉय देर आर्म्स लेग्स हैंड्स एंड फीट एक्चुअली इट इज ए जापानीज मार्शल आर्ट्स इन्वॉल्विंग किक्स एंड पांच विदाउट यूजिंग एनी वेपन्स वार्ड नंबर थर्टी कैलेबी ए मिक्सिंग बोल यूज टू मिक्स वाइन एंड वाटर इज कैरेक्टराइज बाई वाइड माउथ विथ ए ब्रॉड फ्लैट रिम एंड टू हैंडल्स कनेक्टिंग द रिम वार्ड नंबर थर्टी वन लिंगुइनी लिंगुइनी इज ए काइंड ऑफ पास्ता इन द शेप ऑफ लॉन्ग एंड थ्री स्ट्रिप्स नंबर थर्टी टू मेटाबोली ए बायोलॉजिकल टर्म हुई मीन्स ए चेंज और म्यूटेशन ए चेंज ऑफ डिजीज सिमटम्स और ट्रीटमेंट थर्टी थ्री वाट इज मेसेटी मेसेटी इज ए लार्ज पावरफुल हेवी नाइफ यूज फॉर कार्टिंग और एज ए ओपन वार्ड नंबर थर्टी फोर नाइकी नाइकी वॉज द एंशंट ग्रीक गॉडेस ऑफ विक्ट्री थर्टी फाइव पेनेलोपी पेनेलोपी इज एन एलिगेंट ग्रीक नेम दैट मीन्स उइर और ए फेथफुल वाइफ वार्ड नंबर थर्टी सिक्स पे ओटी पे ओटी इज ए स्मॉल बाटन शेप कैक्टस दैट कॉन्टेन्स ए पावरफुल ड्रग It is found in limestone soil. Word number thirty-seven, posse, a group of people who are similar in some way, or who have come together for the same job or purpose. Word number thirty-eight, recipe or recipe, a port at the easternmost point of the Brazil on the Atlantic. Word number thirty-nine, recipe, a set of instructions, formula or procedure for making or preparing something, especially a food dish. Word number forty. Again, a French word, resume or resume, a short summary of a person's education, qualifications, and experience, as that prepared by an applicant for a job. Word number forty-one, sesame, a tropical herbaceous whose small oval seeds are edible oil and are used for flavoring breads, rolls, etc. Word number forty-two, Shoshone, a member of a Native American people of the southwestern United States. Number forty-three, shiitake, a type of Japanese or Chinese edible mushroom that is black or dark brown in color and cultivated especially on hard woods. Word number forty-four, simile, a simile is an expression which describes a person or thing as being similar to someone or something else. There are so many similes in English language. Some examples are as busy as a bee, swim like a fish. etc word number 45 synecopy synecopy is defined as a transient self limited loss of consciousness it's a medical term which represents fainting word number 46 systole stage of the heart when its muscle contracts and pushes the blood into the large blood vessels of the circulatory system it's a medical term some other terms like asystole extrasystole parasystole Pre-systole. These are also used in medical dictionary. Another word, word number forty-seven, diastole. It's opposite of systole. Stage of a heart when its muscle relaxes and the chambers of the heart fill with blood. Forty-eight, tamale. 
or tomale, a Mexican food made of corn meal dough that is filled with minced meat, red peppers, etc., and wrapped in a corn husk before being steamed. Word number 49, telefax family. It means a system of transmitting written documents or messages by electronic signals. Word number 50, ukulele. It's a small guitar-like musical instrument or banjo with four strings. Word number 51, vigilante. A person who tries to prevent crime by making or joining an unofficial group to protect their community and to catch and punish criminals. Marseille. It is an Italian luxury fashion company. It's very popular. Now, word number 53, wannabe. A person who wants to be a particular person or type of person, such as a famous person. Now, learn some bonus words. These words are Reveille, Bronte, Prayari. Again, there are so many words ending with E and A that are pronounced as E. Some examples are employee, coffee, toffee, knee. Some words in plural form recur E at the end. Examples are algae, alumni, antennae, formulae, etc. In this video, we have mainly learned the words in which there is only E at the end of words. Most of them got from Latin, French, Japanese, Mexico, and Spain, where the final E is pronounced. Thank you for watching this video with patience. Have a nice day.